Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas card using some of our Coordinations cardstock along with the Pennant Parade stamp set. To get started, we're going to use Pool Party Coordinations cardstock. This is cut 8.5 by 5.5 and, and scored down the middle at 4 and a quarter. We're going to emboss the front of the card with this decorative dots embossing folder. One thing I noticed about this embossing folder is one of the sides is slightly smaller than the other and this works perfectly for setting your cardstock in and wrapping it around the shorter side. So what that does is it allows this embossed image to get closer to the score line. If you wrap it around the larger side you're going to have a bigger gap from the score line to where the embossing starts. So normally when we're using an embossing folder with the Big Shot, we make our sandwich on tab one. Because I'm wrapping the cardstock around the back of this embossing folder, that extra layer of cardstock is going to make it thicker as it goes through the Big Shot. So I'm actually going to open up tab one. I'm just going to slide that back through and I'm going to build my sandwich with no tabs. We're going to have a cutting pad on the bottom. We have our embossing folder with the cardstock wrapped around the back. Again, I'm wrapping it around the shorter side. And we're going to place another cutting pad on top. You're going to run this through the Big Shot. Just crank the handle until that goes all the way through. Now the front of our cardstock is embossed with this snowflake pattern and we're going to reveal the lighter center of the coordinations cardstock by sanding. So this is one of our sanding blocks. What's nice is you can also buy refills to replace when you need it. And you're just going to go back and forth. And you can see how this is lighter than this. So it gives the look of snowflakes. We're just going to continue sanding the front of this cardstock. Now once you're done sanding, you're just going to clean up your work area. To create the snow at the bottom of the card, we're going to use Whisper White cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by about two inches. You're going to use your paper snips and cut just a slight curve up and down. Before we glue it to the bottom of the card, we're going to add some silver ribbon. We're going to add it in two pieces. You're going to cut one slightly longer. Add glue dots to each end. And wrap that around. And you can add regular adhesive around all the edges. And I do try to get fairly close to the edge with the adhesive to make sure that stays stuck. You can also use glue dots. And now we're going to tie a separate bow using the same ribbon. And just kind of fuss with that a little bit till you get it the way that you like. And trim the ends and use a glue dot to layer that right about here. Now if you find that your ribbon is a little floppy, you can tuck in another glue dot just under that bow and use your pokey tool to lift it up. And then you can lift up your ribbon and just tuck that right under. We're going to use a stamp set called Pennant Parade and this tree image right here. We're going to stamp that in garden green on scrap Whisper White cardstock. You're going to tap tap on the ink pad and press firmly to get a nice clean image. And just repeat that two more times. Now while I've got the ink pad and the stamp out, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card and also the envelope. We're going to use the pennant punch to punch out the trees. You can half squeeze the punch to hold it and check and then punch that out. We're going to add dimensionals to the back of the trees and then use these little tiny ones off the sides for the top. Add your trees
we're going to use petite pears and this is a great stamp set because it has a lot of different greetings but they come in pairs so we have a greeting for the outside and one for the inside too going back to the garden green ink pad and scrap whisper white cardstock we're just going to tap tap we're going to use the large oval punch turn that upside down center that and then punch it out I'm going to go ahead and stamp the greeting for the inside and you can stamp it directly on the card but I want to punch it out so line that up I've already punched out the silver glimmer paper using our scallop oval punch and that works perfectly with the large oval punch that we use to punch out the greeting now sometimes it's hard for our regular adhesive to stick well to this glimmer paper so what I like to do is use a half inch circle punch and punch out the center. I'm going to go back to my glue dots and I'm going to put one on each end. Center that. So I'm going to place one dimensional on each end and then one in the center where I've punched that opening. So the dimensional is adhered to the white cardstock which will be adhered to the front of the card. It's just an extra protection to make sure that that greeting doesn't come off that glimmer paper. So we have a nice sparkly greeting for the inside of the card and we have a nice sparkly greeting for the outside. I really like the silver elements to this card and I want to add a rhinestone to the top of the trees. I'm going to use my pokey tool to get under the adhesive and I'm just pressing it right above the tree. We're going to layer the inside. So this measures four inches by five and a quarter and it'll give you just a little border around all the edges. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more ideas, please visit me at keenancreations.com. Thanks and have a great day.